Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There you go, intro done. Alright, um, you guys would tell me if my intro is annoying, right? You would, right? I just gotta do it, I'm sorry. I gotta do it every video, man. You gotta do it. You gotta tell the new people what's going on. Um, so yeah. There you go. What were we doing? Okay, so we checked the intersect, right? So we were intersecting with the boxes. Okay, the boxes. And we're going to do a simple bottom collision, I guess, because we already have it here. Uh, whoops. What the hell just happened? Okay, like that. Okay, so we're just going to do a simple bottom collision. And instead of player bounds dot top, I'm going to have to actually use this. What I could do is before I go into the for loop, I could say float rect, no, sf float rect player bounds equals static. Okay. So it's just going to do this once, um, hopefully, I think, right? Pretty sure. Might not work as static. Hmm. Uh, let's see. All right. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, SF float rect wall bounce equals. Uh, get global bounce. Oh, shit. We needed one of those anyway. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? Let's cut those out. What am I doing? Wait, uh, it should be right in here. It should be updated just like that. Uh, okay, so we need a get global bounds for the tile. I knew we needed that, but I still messed that. God damn it. I should have done it in the last video. Anyway, float rect get global bounds. Const, very easy anyway, quick to make, define that, come on, come on, oh, what the hell is this dude, what's going on, there you go, okay, get global bounds, um, we're returning this uh, shape, get global bounds, there you go, okay, good shit, good shit, and there you go. All right, let's go back into the tile map. Um, and we're checking if it's colliding. If it is, then we're going to see where it's colliding. That's that's why we need these wall bounds and everything. Um, and then we're going to do entity stop velocity y. Okay. And then we're going to set uh, entity set position to the player bounds and the wall bounds and all that crap uh, so let's just try this very simple just for the bottom collision uh, bottom meaning the players no the walls bottom i think the walls butt and oh shit holy shit okay yeah uh it, it's trying to collide here but it's just pushing me out of the map so i can't do that I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to go into editor state just now, uh, editor, editor, load, all right, and then we're going to toggle to collision, and we're just going to make a little collider here, and we're going to make it a water block so we know that that's the collider, save that, and here we go, so the bottom collider is, seems to be working. It's a little jittery, but it is working. Uh, you see that? So boom, boom, boom. Working very nice, very nice. Um, I can't go through in the bottom, but it's jittering. I don't know why it's jittering. It's so weird. That is strange, but I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. Okay, so bottom and then top, right? So else if, Top 
Uh, collision. All right, so now we're going to have to check the player bounce. Top is greater than wall bounce top plus wall bounce dot height. Okay, and that's going to check if the player's top is greater than the bottom of the wall. Um, all right, guys and girls, um, I had some problems or we, we are having some problems. And that is we need the next position as well. So we have the float bounds, everything. Also, I copied some code from my SVML tutorial. And basically, this and this are exactly the same thing. It's just that I changed that one and that operator, these two operators. And then also this is different right here. So where it places it, right? So but player bounds is good. What I need is a SF float rect next position. Okay. And this is going to be entity get next position. All right. All right. Get next position. We'll just call it get next position. Get next bounce. Get next bounce, right? Um, position bounce position bound get next position bounds that makes more sense i know it's a long name but we're gonna need that so i'm just gonna create that virtual const sf float rect reference here because we save that in uh in our hitbox component all right const now i know this is annoying and we might get some errors from this, but let's just see. So if, first of all, if this uh, hitbox component and this movement component, so we need both of these for this to work, then we're gonna return uh, this hitbox component get next position, okay? Very, very simple. Uh, and then we're going to say this movement component get velocity. So we're going to get the next position using this. Otherwise, we're just going to say return SF float rect. Just a simple float rect just like that. And it's going to be give us an error, right? So but but this is what we want. Basically, this this first one here. Uh, so we're going to get the next position using the velocity. And if I go into game state, no, tile map here. Whoops. Tile map here. We have the next position. So I'm going to check if it collides with next position bounds. I'm just going to call it next position bounds. Okay. So if it collides with that, then we're going to do all this calculation. So let's run this. Well, let's see if it crashes. Um, there we go. New game. All right now. Whoops. Well, that did work. Uh, okay, that's so weird. Oh, shit. That is weird. But something, you know, something is happening. next position bounds okay so get position bounds so we're checking if the entity's next position is colliding so i think there's some problem with the hitbox component how it's calculating the yeah the next position Position equals this hitboxes get position plus velocity x. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, plus the velocity x. Okay, it shouldn't actually be a problem. It should be fine since the velocity is. All right, you know what? Uh, we will. I'll look into this and we'll keep working on it in the next video. At least this works. We could remove these uh, comments as well. But we'll make sure everything works in the next video, right? Um, I'm sorry about that. But 
I need to check some stuff before we keep going. But thank you so much for watching. Hope it's been cool anyway. Hope you learned something. Um, take care. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.